So this question is absolutely beautiful. If you've done any revision, you should really know first principles. But first of all, you need to know the formula for first principles. So the limit, um, f dash of x, or the first derivative, is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Always, always, always write that down. You'll get some marks, maybe for that, maybe for a little bit more. The marks for this question were incredible, and we'll show you at the end of the question. So identifying what your f of x is, it's a third x squared minus x plus 3. Advice that I give is that if you, at this stage, put a little red bracket or a little bracket around your x's, it's going to make it a lot easier for you when you come along and have to do your f of x plus h because wherever there was a bracket, that's now where you're putting in your x plus h. At this point, I would multiply this out as well. So it's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h plus 3. A third x squared plus 2 thirds xh plus a third h squared minus x minus h plus 3. And that's your f of x plus h. Now at this point, it's a matter of simply filling in our formula from the top. The limit as h goes to zero, please make sure to always include that until you're actually applying the limit. Make sure you include it on the right hand side of the equal sign. Now, that is just the f of x. We now need to go and apply the minus. That, that is just the f of x plus h. We need to now go apply the minus f of x. So, that. So, minus a third x squared plus x minus 3. Now, why have the signs changed coming down here? Well, it's because of that minus there being multiplied in. Okay, so the minus has an effect of changing all the signs. Okay, and we continue to put it over h. Now, a lot of people will make the mistake and put in h is equal to 0 now. But if you just do me a favor and write 2 over 0 into your calculator, you'll get math error. You can never, ever, ever divide by zero. The world will explode if you divide by zero, so don't ever do it. So when can you divide, or when can you set h is equals to zero? Well, the easiest answer is just to say when there is no h on the bottom line. That's when you can Divide, or that's when you can set h is equal to zero. So before we go and do that, there should be some um, factorizing or um, cancelling that should happen. So minus three, three, x minus x, a third x squared, a third x squared. So what are we left with? We're left with two over three, x h plus a third h squared minus h all over h. On the top line, can we factorize out anything? We can. We can factorize out h. 2 over 3x plus a third h minus 1 all over h. h divided by h is 1. So we're now just left with f dash of x is equal to limit h goes to 0 2 over 3 x plus 1 over 3 h minus 1 now there's no h on the bottom line so now I can set 
h is equal to 0. And note, it is only at this section that I stop writing the limit as h goes to 0. When I set the limit, or when I set h as being 0, I can stop writing that. The only time I can set h be 0 is when there is no h on the bottom line. Otherwise, I would be dividing by 0, and the world will explode. Small bit of advice is just double check your answer because you should all know how to differentiate this by rule. Okay? And that is correct. The marking scheme for this then is, is nearly laughable. 0, 5, 14, 17, 20. 20 mark question. You should be very, very happy with that. So the next part of the question asks you to find the derivative of this composite function. So first of all, we need to first of all really need to understand the composite function. So f after g of x. So whatever the output from g of x, it's going to be put into f of x. So f after g of x is equal to ln of 3, now the x is going to disappear, plus 2, and we're going to insert x plus 5. Should multiply this out, f after g of x, ln 3, x squared, plus 10x, plus 25, plus 2, ln 3x squared plus 30x plus 75 plus 2, ln 3x squared plus 30x plus 77, and then how do you differentiate uh, a natural log or an ln well if you enter your log tables there's a little hint there but most people will forget forget the key step to it so what I generally say is to differentiate ln what you're going to do is put one over the bracket and then differentiate the bracket and what I mean by this is the bracket. Okay, so it's one over. So that was f after g of x. So the derivative of that is d f after g of x d x. It's going to be 1 over the bracket, 3x squared plus 30x plus 77 times the derivative of the bracket, okay, or the differentiate the bracket. So it'll be 6x plus 30. Now, we need to then apply x is equal to a quarter. So, 1 over 3, a quarter squared, plus 30, by a quarter, plus 77, multiplied by 6, times a quarter, plus 30. Now at this point you can put all of that into your calculator in one, one step if you're good enough with your calculator just take your time if you're not that confident with it and you will get 0 0.372 to two decimal places and just that is 
df after g of a quarter. We are now applying here x being a quarter. That's the answer done. Now, because the first question was so loaded, the second question is only a five mark question. Probably because it wasn't that well answered. Zero, three, four, five. But if you know your key steps, differentiation, to differentiate a natural log like that, the key points wasn't that bad and actually quite a nice question as well.